Ugh, if this does not look like someone who had a kid's birthday party yesterday, I don't know what does. Look, at, I look like I have a mullet. This is, I'm a hot mess. But hello. <laughs> it has been <laughs> a long couple weeks, clearly. Um, with Prime Day and the Nordstrom sale, I just could not. And even Walmart week or Walmart plus week or whatever they call it. I just couldn't prioritize vlogging <laughs> because got balloons above us. I just had to focus all of my energy on those. And I was like getting videos up like every, oh, like every single day. Ooh, I should have given this a couple minutes. Hold on. With that being said, we're finally back. Um, <laughs> yesterday we had Roman's birthday party and it was so much fun. I, it was a little chaotic. No, it was a lot chaotic. So couple things I was planning on doing it on the 27th oh gosh I gotta keep an eye on the monitor so um I was planning on doing his party on the 27th and we ended up like no one could come like four people in total could come and it sucked so I was like all right texting people now mind you this is after I've addressed the invitations that said bring a towel and a bathing suit. This is the time, you know, whatever. It had the theme on it the whole night. I had addressed every single envelope. So when I realized people couldn't come, I was like, all right, so let me just text people. So I was like texting people, hey, are you available on the 20th? Are you available on the 20th? And when they would say yes, I was like, okay. I'd kind of give them the rundown, but in my head, I was like, this is it. I told them the information. <laughs> So I ended up not mailing out the invitations, which I absolutely hate. I like a good paper invite, but I ended up not mailing out invitations because I had sent them texts. Well, then I forgot to invite a couple people because in my head, I had written their name down on the invitation. It was done. And then I didn't tell half the people to bring a swimsuit and a towel until like the day of. So it was just a little chaotic. I only had two days to get everything ready because originally the party was the 27th and Prime Day was gonna end on the 17th. I was gonna have a week and a half to get everything done. Also, since we moved it, I literally, Prime Day ended and I had two days to scrounge. Um, I had some stuff squared away like this uh, water slide you see here that we all absolutely loved. Even adults went on it. It's like an inflatable we rented. It is so cool. What? Okay. But I will say I have been a little extra spacey <laughs> and I, I really think that has so much to do with it. I started on Lexapro, which I'm so happy I did. I was on Prozac for years and years. And I know a lot of people on Zoloft. Zoloft was not it for me. And it might've just been that I was on too much, but I was like a shell of a human being. And I was doing all these weird things and acting really weird. And I could tell that I was doing them, but couldn't stop it. It was beyond. Like that's the first time I realized how much that medication can affect you in college. So I stopped Zoloft and went on Prozac and I loved Prozac. I was on it for years. I just getting ahead of myself. So loved it, decided to go off of it. I had talked to the doctor that was prescribing it to me and he was like, I would prefer you be off of it. He wasn't the most thorough doctor, but he was like, I would just prefer you not take it while you're pregnant because I don't think you like need it that much. So I went off of it, was off of it for years and I just needed something. I started to have speech problems. Like my speech got real jumbled and fumbled because everything up here was moving so fast and I'm so overwhelmed that I can't execute fully. So anyway, I went to a new doctor because I did not love my old doctor. Finally got in with this new doctor. Absolutely love him. His wife actually is the one who delivered Ezra. Um, he's the nicest, nicest guy. So he listened to me, he listened so well. Did it make me feel like I was just a box he was trying to check? And he kind of told me a couple things. He was like, I feel like, um, he said, I don't feel like I can diagnose you with generalized anxiety disorder. He said, but I do think you have anxiety and I think that medication is a good option for you, which I just immediately him saying that, I was like, this man is listening. And like, you know how important and special it is when you find a doctor that listens to you. My gyno, she listens to me. And my gyno actually isn't his wife, but his wife was the one who delivered the, Ezra but like you just know how amazing it is so when he said that I was like okay this man's listening to what I'm saying and he was like and you might have ADD um he was like but I don't love to put 30 year olds on stimulants so let's start with the anxiety medication and then we'll go from there um I genuinely don't feel like I'm gonna need anything else I feel like what I'm on right now is amazing with that being said there is an adjustment period and I've been kind of going through the like waves this week 
I definitely remember when I first started Prozac, it took me about like two to four weeks until I felt normal. I did have a little bit of nausea with Prozac. I remember feeling very numb at first and then very tired and then all of those symptoms kind of went away and it's like I'm repeating that now. So I have, was super like mute, quiet, calm, just did not get up in arms about just like moving very slow at the start of the week and then even yesterday like people were talking to me and I was just sitting there staring at them and my mom would ask a question and I'd be like sure like I just I, I don't know I'm very spacey so I'm still kind of adjusting but with all that being said I'm so happy I went with my gut went to a different doctor found one who is phenomenal and like even the nurse she was like, I'm so lucky to have him as my doctor. She was like, he cares about people. He's gonna listen to you. And like, you know when the nurses are saying it, it's true. And so she was like, you're gonna love him. Because she had asked like, you know, what are you here for? Are you just wanting to establish as a patient? And I said like, I didn't love my old doctor. I wanna get back on medication. I do wanna get established as a patient, but I, you know, I've heard great things about him. And she was like, you are going to love him. He is incredible. So it's been an interesting couple weeks for sure, because we've had a lot going on. And then on top of that, I'm getting used to medication, but you gotta go with your gut and you gotta do what's best for you. And if what's best for you is medication and it makes you be more present and calmer and approach situations differently, then go with your gut and do it. And I have never been someone to be ashamed, to need help and to ask for it, especially in that aspect. Um, but I already, even with the side effects that I do feel as mild as they are, I feel like this is such a good, this was such a good decision. And I already feel like I'm a better mother and a much better wife because I'm approaching things just differently and it, it feels good. So we are back with daily vlogs. Today is Sunday. We have a lot to do. I look like a hot mess. Again, I look like I have a mullet. We've got this slide till six o'clock tonight. Um, Ezra absolutely loved it. So right now Rose sleeping. Ezra's playing. When Ezra goes down, I'm sure Ro will come down and play on it. We have to shoot a campaign. We being Sam is my photographer. So I have to shoot an Adidas campaign for a sponsored post that I'm so excited about and so grateful for. So we have a little bit of work sprinkled in. I also need to do probably a grocery pickup order, but it feels good that like we're kind of slowing down in the in the work aspect. It's, it's just been a good, it's been a good busy couple weeks. Yeah, look at all that mud. Hi! Oh my gosh, all that mud. This is the thing we're doing. You ready? All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh my gosh. He yelled at me because I wasn't up here waiting on uh -oh, him. Uh-oh, he got a mouthful of water. You all right. You good? Good okay. job, eh? Whoa. This thing is so cool. Whoa. It's disgusting though, because there's like so much mud Whoa. down here. Look at this. Blech. I even went on it a couple times yesterday, but gross! All that mud they're getting in here. Two. Three! Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Go, E! You gonna do it on your back? Those little muddy feet. You ready? One. Two. Three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yay, oh, go oh, E! Yeah. Okay, daddy's coming. A few hours I spent pretty much all day outside with the boys and my parents. And then the people came tonight to pick up the slide, but I'm waiting on myself Tanner to dry now, which is like, <sighs> and I have to say, so I was a, this started in college. I was a like, oh God, I meant to do my, <sighs> I'll put them up here. I'll do them tomorrow morning. Um, meant to do my wink click lashes tonight. Check back tomorrow's vlog. We'll do them then. They're like the semi-permanent lash extensions. Um, so I started in college, like I was someone who just like needed more noise in the background. So I can't focus if there is music around. Like I can't, if music's on, I like want to dance or work out or something. Like I don't, can't do it. So I've been binging trash TV because trash TV doesn't, you know, doesn't like pull your focus in a way. I have got to say there is nothing quite like Real Housewives. I can't remember what seasons they are, but the seasons, so originally Bethany was like in, like she was one of the OGs. She left the show, 
when she came back, that was when like, from when she came back until she left again was when like New York, Real Housewives of New York was just peak. Like Bethany is just hilarious for reality TV. Like personally, I don't think like she is my favorite person, but like she's just reality TV gold. And like when Dorinda is drinking and the words just come out like, a different language is so funny to me. Um, and so today I was also like, I just had it going on in the background. Like we actually kind of had a lazy day. And I was like, let me also, you know, I, I want to go catch up with um, the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So I went and caught up. I actually just recently binged that one. So I went and caught up to the recent episodes and I was like, wah, wah. Like <laughs> they are not near as entertaining. I feel like Beverly Hills. I don't, I've never watched Orange County. I hear a lot of people say Orange County is really good, I think, is the other one. Um, there's a couple. I was never able to get into Atlanta. I don't know, Kim, whatever her name is. Like, I just never found her fun to watch on TV. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, so they have like the same two storylines. And I feel like that's how it is for Real Housewives of New Jersey. Like, Teresa and Melissa have just like, their fight has been since like season two. And we're now however many years in and it's just like boring. If you have not watched Real Housewives, Real Housewives of New York, they are funny. And Ramona, Ramona is reality TV gold. What they call her like drive-by shootings or whatever, where they're like, she literally will just like pull up, say the worst thing in the world to you and then walk away. <laughs> and people are like, what? Like, I just love it. Anyways, I'm gonna go finish. I think I only have, I'm like about midway through Real Housewives of New York, the like the season where Luann is like blissfully aware, but pretending to be blissfully unaware of Tom cheating and her being like, I, I just love him so much. And like, they just got married. Like, I think we're only one or two episodes in after they got married. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna go binge for the rest of the night. Oh, that is a streak. You can tell on Lou's face, she like wanted just to get married so that she could say like, it wasn't me, it was Tom. Oh my God. What did I do, close my eyes when I was self tanning? What the heck? Thank y'all so much for watching the vlogs. It feels good to be back. This time, hopefully, <laughs> no more chaotic, like busy work weeks like that. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah.